Hi, this is Kara from Karen Co Creative. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. Today, I have a quick Flowdesk tutorial for you. This is the updated 2024 version of how to add a Flowdesk form to your Squarespace website. So let me take you over my shoulder and into Flowdesk. So when you open up Flowdesk, you may see some emails here. If you haven't done anything yet, this might just be blank. But what you need to do is come here to Forms and then New Form. What I like to do is go to inline and then choose one of these very thin ones. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll choose this one. Customize it. This is where you will choose what segment people would be added to. And then this is how you can customize it. So customize this. If you want to embed the entire thing onto the website, you can customize this so that you're using ideally the same fonts as you have on your website. Um, the other thing that I sometimes like to do is just deleting all of these things and that way these things will be added by the website itself but you might want to change the button color for instance so that way it matches your website so i have a select something random um, you also have some nice options here with flowdesk that you can change the style of the windows so let's say make them all like just the lines so we'll pretend this is styled how we want it and we'll proceed so next you can decide if you want to enable the double opt-in the recommendation is typically to not do this um, until you start to see some issues with maybe spam entries ending up in your email list, and then you can switch to enable this. Um, when subscribers opt into this form, you can chose you can choose excuse me to be notified or not. Um, continue, and then here the default is display a success message. You can also add in a URL if you have like a custom thank you page on your website. So next we'll go to embed it. And this is the step that might trip people up. So what we need to do actually is go to advanced options for Squarespace and get the raw HTML code, hit continue, and then we'll copy it. Next, we'll come into the Squarespace website. Um, so I don't currently have a mail opt-in on this one. So we'll create one from scratch. So we'll add a new section. Um, I typically like to work with a blank section. You do not want to use the Squarespace newsletter block for this. Um, I like to make my section small. All right. So this is where if you have the Flowdesk form where you've actually are taking the text, the title and everything is on the Flowdesk form, all you need to do is add the code that you grabbed. So I have to move it to the center, put this here. All right. So now you can see that that's in there. Um, so if you had the sort of subscribe here and the help text in your form, then all you need to do is move it to the center and you are done. If you want to do it this way, where you have sort of the Squarespace style, so it's very consistent, then this is where you would do subscribe here. I like to center that. And then we'll say text. You'll also be added to the weekly newsletter and get my free gift, whatever your help text is. And we can make that centered. But this, the nice thing with this is if you have details in your site, like the underline, if you're using them, then this can be consistent with the rest of your website. And if you need to add um, a white space behind it, for instance, or in this case, since the white block will do this, you can add the shape behind it and then put the shape back. Um, so this is where it does work best, unless you change the background color, which you can do in Flowdesk. We'll make the shape white and then we'll just edit the section colors to be that. All right, and then don't forget to check the mobile version. It can be helpful. I'm just gonna make these spaces. It can be helpful to um, save and exit to see how it actually looks. So it looks pretty good here. And then we'll go to the mobile version. So this one needs some help. So we'll hit edit. This is where we just need to make this 
position backwards, and then we can move everything up. And now that should be pretty good on mobile too. Save and exit. And now you are all set and your form is set up on your Squarespace website. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to give the video a like and you can always subscribe to the channel. That helps us reach more people. Um, and if you find that you need help with this, don't hesitate to reach out. I do have contact information and resources in the links below this video. All right.